Hello, oh, this is the weekly announcement for week 13 for Composition 2. Uh, again, I'm just going to give you a uh, semi-friendly face to look at because I know it's very isolating always to be uh, online and just be reading everything or listening to my wonderful videos. I know they're, they're a treat that <laughs> you look forward to, I'm sure. Uh, but I want to go through a few things for this week, talk about where we are for the plan. So I'm going to disappear. Uh, for a moment and we'll just look at the screen. So for this week we are working on our call to action. We're going to share it to the discussion board. Uh, I'm going to take this link. Uh, there's really just a few questions I want to look at. Is the call to action clear? Um, is it well supported? Do you the reader know what to do? Uh, what the reader is asking for you to do or the writer? Um, and let's see and is it a clear course of action? Uh, does it make sense, right? Um, and does the author uh, address the counterpoint? Does, does the author say, well, this is why this is the right course of action as opposed to these other things? And so those are the things we want to look at. And um, that's going to be due on Friday. Post your draft. Um, and then provide the comments by next Monday the 20th. I'm going to give you the entire weekend to do it um, because I know you're probably all feeling crushed for time with these these drafts, but uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is is very very close. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. In addition, you're going to turn in your draft by Saturday, so I can look at it. Um, I will apologize because I am behind. I am calling, or I am not calling. I am providing comments to your um, overviews, and I am almost finished with those, just like you trying to find time to get work done uh, is, is difficult, but we're doing it. We're plugging along. I'm asking you questions, um, all that sort of stuff. I'm still working on the book reviews, and uh, what I will do for the book reviews is probably just provide a grade with very few comments. That does a, a couple things. I'm going to come back up on. So if I provide you a grade with just a few comments, though, that does, it means I am uh, grading it quicker, and so the grading will be a little bit better and easier. Um, if there are grades that aren't quite what you want it to be, you'll have the opportunity to revise and I'll allow that. Uh, but that way I can just get them graded and scores entered for you. Uh, I've already read the drafts, provided comments, so as long as you've addressed those issues, I think we'll be in good shape. Overall, I was really happy with the drafts of the book reviews, so I think we'll be in good shape for those. Um, other things. I know that, it again, it's difficult. Uh, many of you are either uh, high school students trying to balance a lot of different things. You are uh, traditional students who are trying to work and manage your life through all of this and, and not really being able to get out and do things. And some of you are parents and trying to homeschool your kids, work, and, and maintain sanity. And I understand all this, and I hope the workload has not been too terribly difficult. I always make it for comp two, a little bit easier at the end of the semester where we're just working on these drafts. I know it kind of sneaks up on you that extra spring break kind of just, just threw things off. It threw me off because I usually grade book reviews during spring break. I didn't have that time to do it. Uh, so we're all just kind of messed up, but we're going to be all right. I want to talk about next week real quick um, and where we are going to be. So assignments week 14. Week 14, we're just turning in our presentation, and I'm sorry, our presentations and our research project. So uh, the whole thing is going to be due next Saturday. Um, all you have to do is put it together, uh, finish finish drafting it, um, applying the comments. So you have all next week for that. We're going to do presentations. Week 14, uh, week 15, you just get to watch presentations and comment on them. So I want you to see these presentations. Um, I'll have some presentation guidelines. I'll post those. Um, I'll, I'll do that uh, this week so you have them. But you'll be reading uh, through Little Seagull Handbook, which I finally got from, I had to go up to campus and get it, and that was a, a, an ordeal. But Little Seagull Handbook has a thing on presentations. We're only looking at about a four minute presentation. Uh, you can do a screencast like I do with a PowerPoint. You can do just plain old PowerPoint. Well, we need some audio because we want to hear you. Um, you don't have to do webcams uh, of yourself like this if you, if you don't want to. So uh, really you're just gonna 
cover the main points of your paper and really focus on that call to action. Um, it's basically a condensed version of your paper. So uh, don't get too worked up about it. It's just putting that information that you already know out there um, in just a different format. So we'll watch these. We'll have a short journal assignment. Um, I might delete that. Uh, yeah, I'll probably delete that because I'll delete this. And then what we'll do is the last thing we have is called a capstone paper, where the capstone paper is just a reflection on the paper, the research project, and addresses any criticism and concern. So maybe one of your classmates made a good point in your present about your presentation and your paper, and you want to say, oh, well, here's this additional information. Or maybe there's criticism about your call to action that it doesn't go far enough. Well, you can address that. So the idea is you just get that final word in on the capstone. And that will be it. We do have a final thoughts discussion board. It's kind of a class reflection. Um, so things are coming down uh, fairly easily, I hope. I know it's, again, it's a lot of work. This is a stressful time of the year. It's stressful paper, but you know your topic. I want you to have faith in yourself. You know your topic. If you've been doing everything I've been asking you to do from you know, week three on when we started looking at these, these topics, um, you should be in good shape. And it's just a, you know getting that time to put everything on paper. So a couple other things I do want to talk about. I know uh, we're facing some uncertainty. If you ever have any questions, comments, and many of you have been uh, contacting me with questions, but if you have questions or comments or concerns or you just need to vent somebody, please contact me and we can go through some things. Um, the, the college is trying to do uh, what we can to help people out through providing uh, emergency grants. So if you've lost your job for some reason, uh, let me know and I can put you in contact with the people that are in charge of um, financial assistance and things like that. Other things that are going on are the, uh, we, uh, this is fairly new, none of these are, this is just uh, stock photography, none of us, but um, we have for all graduating seniors, 100% scholarship, this is just a fantastic opportunity, um, and it's a renewing scholarship, this is the important thing. I did post a link um, in, in the in week, whatever we're on, 13. I did post a link. Um, it's renewing scholarship. You can, as long as you're maintaining GPA, you can get 70 hours uh, of a degree for free, which is awesome. And you probably still pay for books, but that's a great opportunity for you. I'm sorry, current students, if you are one of our traditional students or uh, working parent students, I'm sorry there's nothing for you at this moment. We do have a lot of scholarships. I don't know if we've extended the deadline, but always check out those scholarships. Um, we, we can't always give away all the money because not everybody qualifies or not everybody applies. But graduating seniors, this is an opportunity. If you don't know what you're doing in the fall, if everything has fallen apart, this is a great way to uh, get things moving again. And when you have questions about any of the degrees, any of the uh, transfer questions you might have, contact me. I'll, I'll help you out. I, I am your link to, to the college. I'll put you in connection with anybody and everybody. Uh, I'll put you in connection with people in, at other schools if I know them, or I'll reach out to them for you. I don't care. Um, so use me as, as um, whatever you need me to do, and I'm here for you. So please contact me, ask me questions, and have a great week.